Seattle finished with 11 picks in this year's draft and was able to add a little something to every facet of their team, from wide receiver help to edge rusher with LJ Collier out of TCU, who was excellent down in Mobile at the Senior Bowl, to matchup defenders at the second level like Cody Barton, the linebacker from Utah, and Ben Burke Kirvin, the linebacker from Washington, to special teams help with Travis Homer, the running back from Miami. This draft for Seattle had it all. What I like most about the Seahawks draft was how they revamped that receiving core around Russell Wilson, bringing in DK Metcalf of Ole Miss, Gary Jennings of West Virginia, John Ursura of Hawaii. All three guys were accomplished wideouts and legit deep threats. Their skill set coincides with what Russell Wilson does really well, throw the deep ball. So this was an impressive group of pass catchers that they were able to bring in. I was also a big fan of Phil Haynes coming out of Wake Forest. When you watch the Demon Deacons on offense, you can't help but notice how dominant the left guard was and how many times they ran weak side as a result. So getting him where they did in the fourth round was a huge steal in my opinion. Jazz Ferguson of Northwestern State is another talented wideout the Seahawks were able to bring into the fold. He's actually cut from the same cloth, quite honestly, as DK Metcalf from a stylistic perspective. Now, Ferguson was a deep threat for the Demons and figures to serve in a similarly high post role with Seattle. Derek Thomas of Baylor is another Seahawks type of a pick. The former Temple Owl wide receiver turned Baylor defensive back has the athleticism to hold his own out there on the perimeter and has the ball skills and the upside that you want to see from a prospect. So it's no surprise that he ended up in Seattle as he has a similar profile to former Seahawk Richard Sherman. Tight end Justin Johnson out of Mississippi State was outstanding at the Tropical Bowl this past January. I was amazed at his ability to consistently work himself open with his route running ability. A seldom used player at Mississippi State, Johnson has a chance to not only make this roster, but also contribute. I gave the Seahawks a B-plus for their draft. I love what they did at the receiver position and bringing in both Phil Haynes and LJ Collier to me significantly strengthens them along both sides of the line of scrimmage. 